thank you so so much for keeping it beautifully flawed and of course it's your girl rb back with another video for you guys take a look i love this look we are in the season of love the valentine's period and so i went ahead to create this look specially for that season so guys don't worry whether you're in love with yourself in love with someone someone's in love with you no worries as long as you are in love like i am with this look no guys if you want to see how i accomplished this look you can jump right on in but before before you do so don't forget to subscribe if you've not yet done so leave a like comment share guys so your friend who has a friend can see what is happening over here and don't forget rock those flaws love on you some more respect on you some more appreciate on you some more and guys until we meet again have yourself a wonderful wonderful time yes guys jumping straight on into it of course my dusty but trusty james charles palette and i'm just jumping on in with that light uh candied looking pink and i'm going to be using that in my transition area as my first first color now guys as i said we are in the season of love and i want to do some looks not your typical red and white but some pink some red and some white <laughs> but yeah i want to do a mixture of those colors all right so what are your plans for valentine's if you can comment in the comment section that's fine tell me your plans and if you want to see any particular mixture of colors for valentine's you can also make that known to me as well I must say this shade is rather light it, it won't show up as bright I am seeing it um, off camera but it's not showing up as much on camera but trust it's actually there so of course I'm blending it to perfection so I'm drawing on my beloved Juvia's place palette the berries and I'm using that flash flat brush tongue-tied that flat brush to lay down my color um i'm going to be laying it down and then um occasionally i'm just blending it out ever so slightly because i do want the color payoff to be super 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 pigmented though the palette itself is pigmented I might be going back and forth in the same color but this is really to build it up all right so I'm gonna be going th there was a color that was next to that first shade that's the exact one I'm using so I didn't um, show you the palette but it's next to the one the first shade which was the transition shade and I'm using that just above the, the crease shade from the berries palette and i'm just blending it out i'm not packing this shade in i'm using it to blend out the fur the edge of the first um shade from the berries palette that i laid down Now, if you are wondering um, why I'm always turning my head left to right, I basically use this as my personal method. I'm looking at the looking at my work from different angles to see if it's okay, if it needs more work. That's that's this is something that I always always do. So I'm gonna be going back into the the crease color just so I don't lose that. And of course, I'll be going back and forth between the shades to keep it built up. I'm just going, um, as I said, 
back and forth with all the shades and this is to make sure that I don't lose any of my colors because I'm using them because I really want them to be a part of this look or to pull this look off if you must say. just blending the crease so I laid laid down that shade from the berries palette now I'm just going into the crease and I'm just blending it out making sure that it's soft and nicely blended and I'm also just blowing it out slightly at the end again guys just going back and forth back and forth because I really really want this look to be super 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 blended so you'll you'll take note I'll use the middle shade and then I go directly back into the la the the last shade so of course I'll be cutting my crease and I'm using my J cut concealer now I'm I lay some I lay on my lid some of that base and I looked up to see where exactly I need to go ahead and have that crease cut. As as always going back and forth to make sure that I get as clean of a cut as is possible um, the cut was not the most perfect I will admit to this however I'm gonna also show you something that you can also do to get it as sharp as possible all right so again just getting that crease as neat as I can to make sure that I am also satisfied So I'm using that magenta shade from the James Charles palette and with an angled elf brush I'm just going around the edges of that cut crease. It's going to help your crease to look sharper and look more and look crisp, crispier or look more crisp. You get the point of what I'm trying to say. Alright, so of course you're um, just going on in to make sure that I reinforce getting as crisp or as clean or sharp as a crease as possible. So just going around the edges of that cut crease and getting it as fine tuned as possible. Using that white shade, I'm going to use it to set the base that I just laid down. And it's going to also help to it's gonna also help the shade or the eyeshadow that I'm about to lay down on my lid 
the eyeshadow it's it's somewhat sheer and i didn't want any pink from the eyeshadows that i'd used to seep through uh, or to mock the shade that i was about to use on my lid which was that um gabrielle eyeshadow see there it's shimmery but it's not as fine so it does have some texture to it and i'm just using that now to lay down on my lid and i really really love it i think the shade of it is called snowflake and you're going to see that it will there is fallout there's a lot of fallout and i will say this is because it is not a fine the the feel of it is not fine that's what i'm realizing it's not a fine or refined um formula I will also say I realize um, patting it is not the best option for application. I realize moving in the windscreen um, method actually sets the product on the lid much better than um, patting it. It works better sort of like rubbing the shadow onto your lid instead of patting it so in future if you're using anything like this this particular shade or this particular brand you can go ahead and sort of rub or press it into the skin and blend it or blend it out onto the lid so i'm using the zulu palette and i'm using that iridescent shade i'm not sure how to explain it but it'll come off sort of like a peach with like an orange hue to it sorry of a golden hue to it rather and it is really 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 beautiful it's not showing as much on camera as i'd like it to but i promise you it's a really really nice combination So I will be going back and forth between these two shades and this is to make sure they are perfectly blended into each other. So I'll be going, I'll be using the Snowflake um, and then I'll be using that, it doesn't have a name in the palette, and then I'll be using that shade from the Juvia's palette, just going to and fro so they can actually blend perfectly into each other without being able to see a seam or a line. Now I'm taking that magenta shade that I laid down in the crease or I used to clean the cut crease and I'm just using and I'm just blending that ever so slightly onto the outer part of my lid and this is to give a nice variation of colors. This is to give a gradient um, effect as it relates to the colors. I want them to blend really, really, really nicely into each other. And of course, if you don't yet know, let me tell you, I am doing what I always do, reinforcing the shades, making sure that all three shades are actually seamlessly blended. Because guys, we're dealing with a matte shade, shimmery shade, and I'm not exactly sure how to identify that um, first shade on the lid. No, I'm using two lippies, guys. Two matte lippies one uh, from lime crime and another from jordana and i and i will be using these as my liner so i'm laying down that pink shade first and the reason i'm doing this is because using both together gives me the perfect color that i'm looking for
as you can see i'm not create i'm not creating a, a wing i just want the edge of that um line that i'm setting down that liner that i'm setting down to blend back into the color of that outer lid All right, so guys, I did not show you. However, I'm using my Maybelline's Super Stay 370 and 375 both mixed together. Um, individually, they're either too light or too dark. So I have to mix both to get the best shade possible. Okay, yes, so I'm using that damp um, sponge and this is really to take off any excess um, product that I have on my skin and also to help with that airbrush finish using my LA Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee and I'm just going to be using that as that to highlight my face. I'm looking guys and I can tell you whilst looking um, watching the video I can truly say I am loving this uh, this eyeshadow I'm loving this eye eyeshadow set really really loving it and I promise you if you follow the steps that was um, shown you can actually accomplish this look and if you want you can always add your own twist to it if you're not liking something you can all, always take take it out you can add into it you are never ever ever limited when it comes on to being creative So guys, you know what? I was thinking about asking my husband to do my voiceover because I was so tired. But then I thought to myself, well, I'd have to actually train or teach him about everything that I'm doing. And that would make me so, so, so super, super tired. However, I think in future I'd like him. I'd ask him before. Um, I know he would be willing, but, you know, he's a man. But in future, I would like to have him do my voice over just to see um, you guys' reaction and if you'd love it. And if you think you'd like to um, hear him do one um, in the near future, you can go ahead and also comment that down below, guys. Let me know. Let me also apologize. I was using my back camera and I would have or should have switched to the front camera to make sure that I was seeing myself at this point in full because I had it zoomed for my eyes. However, guys, it's for me. No, it's not about the foundation. You can always go back to previous videos to take a look at my foundation routine. I really did. Um, I really wanted to focus on my eyes but i'm just i'm still showing you guys a bit of, of a bit of my foundation routine so i'm just going um blending 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 all those concealed areas so as you're not seeing um clearly what i'm doing i'm using my sasha buttercup and I'm using, and I'm picking it up on that damp sponge. And of course, I'm blowing 
any excess product from the sponge and I'm laying it down to set all the areas where I laid down the concealer. I just had to be me here all right so using my real technique setting brush I'm just going in as per usual using that to push the product further into my skin and I'm using it to blend and to dust off any excess um, powder that I have on my face I I've grown to appreciate this step and I've had to learn because in past pictures that I had, I would have flashbacks because I used too much powder or it wasn't properly, properly blended out. Yeah, and she's feeding herself. <laughs> Moving on to the contouring, of course, that trusty black radiance dark to deep and I'm doing my fish face. Now, if you want to know where to have your perf the perfect contour, you want to go ahead and utilize the fish face. It's ugly, but you're going to love the results that it gives you. So yes, doing your fish face, it's going to it's going to allow you to still go in the perfect line and you're not going to go too much above your cheekbone but you're going to go perfectly where it needs to stop of course never leaving out my ruby kiss mineral powder in the shade cognac and i'm using it directly below that con that contour shade and i'm going to use it as well nothing added extra in the areas that i laid down my concealer and this is going to sort of take it down if it's too high in color and i'm now spraying i'm moving so fast here in the video i'm not even catching up with myself but yes setting my face as you can see and i'm just using the brush to push the product back into my skin and to blend them together now using my james charles of course i am just get giving myself some bronzing on the cheek For highlighter, I'm using an eyeshadow from the James Charles palette. It's sort of a pink iridescent shade. I know it's in the second line, but I'm not sure um, what's the name of it because I lost the paper. But yes, I'm actually using a pink eyeshadow because I wanted something that really went well with my eyes. I do love do love highlighting I'm doing this to the tip of my nose it's going to give the illusion that I have a point or a tip making my nose look much more smaller and slender highlighting using the same shade from the James Charles palette I'm just highlighting the inner portion 
of my eyes. I also think here I went back into the Black Radiance uh, contour palette and I used the gold highlighter that's there. I think I did that and I wanted to do this to give me a mixture of a pink, bronzy, golden look and it really it came out nice. It really, really, really came out nice. Yeah, be creative right that's what makeup is about guys being creative if you think about something you can actually execute it doesn't matter if they the colors are not the most popular but once you push yourself i promise you i promise you you're gonna see results and be amazed yes yeah, so this is where i went back into the gold and i applied it to my cheekbones that bronze highlighter in the palette and that's where I went on in and I mixed both shades. Yes, yeah, so just so I'm using um, from the Berry, Berries palette that pink shade that I'd used on my in my crease area I'm just using that on my lower lash line. You can always go ahead and highlight use like an like a silver or white in your waterline if you choose to um i i don't always do so because it does affect my eyes but i do on occasion because sometimes you really want to get that bomb look but never do so at your expense um second thing i don't always use mascara because it doesn't work well for me it does cause my eyes to water yeah 